Hey there, lovely soul. I'm Infinity and welcome to my channel and this video for May 2021 Virgo. Oh, looks like we already got a card. The Virgo read sun, moon and rising. And looks like we got another one. Uh, welcome cross watchers. I'm Infinity, shaman mystic, medical medium, psychic physical empath, ascension coast coach, channeler, meditation guide, uh, quantum energy healer, and I work worldwide with clients uh, and their animals. And I welcome you to check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for more information, another card, for more information on how I can help you. I've got an e uh, in a podcast called the Evolved Now Lightworkers Podcast. And uh, I'm also, I also have a special right now on mediumship. So for Mother's Day through the 15th, we can get together and call in your ancestors, your loved ones. Okay, wow, these cards are ready to go. So let's get to it. All righty. Okay. So we have the Hanged Man, the Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, the Empress in reverse, Queen of Swords, and the World Virgo. Um, so the Hanged Man, car, first card coming up. The five of wands in reverse, the seven of swords right side up, the empress in reverse, uh, the queen of swords right side up, and the wheel. I may have said the world. I always see this card and think the world, but it's the wheel card. It's been like that since the first moment I saw this card. Okay. Uh... All right, Virgo. So with the hangman, we see that you're starting to see things from a new perspective. There has been inner conflict. There has been inner conflict about what you're seeing, what you're perceiving, the messages, the information coming through from various sources, yourself, what the synchronicities are, what people are specifically saying to you. Um, I feel like you've been running. You've been trying to get away from from yourself, from this um, uncomfortable feeling that's going on and things just not working out in different, like you were like, this is it, this is it. And it like turns out to not be it on di in different fronts from people that you, that you align yourself with uh, in a love relationship or even a lot of like um, acquaintances that you think, oh, this might be a good friend. And then it fizzles out to jobs that it's like, oh, Oh, this is going to be amazing and then it doesn't and then um even places that you might go to live you're like oh this is going to be so awesome and then it's not and so there's just kind of a there's a lot of that and it feels here like we're just in a state of disconnection with the the divine feminine the mother the 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 empress represents especially in this deck mother earth the mother nurturing energy being empathic being psychic being intuitive um we also see the moon there so the moon energy is also you know represented here um so she's in reverse. So there's definitely a disconnect to what's going on. Like I said, there's been this running situation happening with you. Um, a lot of conflict inside. A lot of this like thinking about and going back and forth and back and forth. Even waking up, I see... Yeah, even waking up, I see, um, you know, from sleep, being agitated, tired, uh, feeling like, you know, it's all still the same and all of that stuff. But, <coughs> excuse me, but we have the wheel card. So things are turning. Things are changing for you, um, Virgo. 
there is a sense i'm getting really warm all of a sudden i'm like is my fan even on it's on high and it doesn't feel like it's on at all i'm picking up a lot of energy a lot i'm like getting so warm all of a sudden wow whoo um there is a lot of energy coming in for you, a lot turning, a lot changing, a lot that's going to be um, literally turning over like the wheel. It's like this month of May, things come into alignment. The We have a really special new moon on the 11th. It's like 11, 11, 11, 11, like amplified with the pillars of creation energies on the 11th with the new moon. And then on the, gosh, is it the 26th or the 28th? Now I'm, I can't remember exactly. But anyway, our full moon for the month of May is uh, a lunar um, eclipse. So that is also a major reset that's coming at the end of the month. But that energy is permeating throughout the entire month, especially with that new moon. And if you haven't watched yet your full moon to new moon reading that I did just a few days ago, please check that out. Um, I'm being guided to tell you that. So yeah this there's a lot of energy coming in here um with this wheel card as soon as i connected with this wheel card i got so, every time i touch it i get a surge of heat whoa that is intense that's not typical i'm like do i touch it again oh yeah oh my god i get this like whoosh of of like there's a fire going on inside of me virgo it is really really intense with this card wow um so so there's a rush of energy coming for you this month it's not to say that we have to wait till the end of may but it's hitting may so today is april 30th 2021 tomorrow is may 1st saturday may 1st happy may um this is a really good reading because it shows that you're contemplative it shows that you see the inner conflict it shows that you've you know you've been running you know you've been like um trying to keep things as normal or to live a normal life as much as you possibly can but it's just not working it's just not working and that inner conflict um for you for that running um energy is is keeping away the energy of gaia is keeping away the energy of of your guides of your guardians gaia and mother gaia mother earth being like the epitome of of natural uh spirit force for us all it's how much we dial in or tune out of that energy we can be living in on her body in her atmosphere fear drinking her water walking in her forests and swimming in her oceans and still be very disconnected so it's a state of mind it's a state of energy it's a state of spirit and she's coming through right now to say knock knock i'm ready for you are you ready for me and in may you with these look at these cards <laughs> i really kind of do and don't want to pick up that wheel card again um but we have that seven of swords the empress and then the queen of swords so we're coming out of this like runner stage this like you know and look at this this crow or raven here is like trying to talk to you and you're that guy just like i'm going and still the light is shining on you you're still very powerful there's still magic all around you and i think that's part of the problem for you is that you're like 
wanting things to be very normal. I keep hearing that word and it's not. It's not in your world. You're not one of those people who's meant to live a normal life. I'm seeing this. You're meant to be more and deeply connected. And with this wheel card here, there is so much energy coming in to propel you forward. Man, I barely touched it. I literally just put my finger on it and I felt it again. Holy shit. There is so much of this energy coming for you here um, in the pretty near future. I've got to say, I don't feel like this is, this is something that's going to be um, too too far out here for you virgo um there's just a process taking place and it's very natural let me just say that i don't want to come off like you're this stubborn person and you're running away and blah 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 blah. it's a very very natural state of being that's why there's this card called the hangman where we're kind of stuck in stasis but it's a good thing because we're seeing things from a different perspective look at her third eye lighting up and look at her just connected to um everything around her while she's like in her own space it's really awesome so that's what we started remember a lot of your cards just flew out even before i was beginning the finish with the intro here so much energy coming but it is showing me that there has been inner conflict there has been kind of separation with the self and even those maybe that are closest to you just because possibly they remind you and they trigger this stuff so it could be family um close family connections that when you connect it like it does this whole like Thing and it overwhelms you and you're just like oh my god and you try to go back and be normal so that is happening oh my gosh i'm so excited to get into these um archetype cards and so what we're gonna do here dear virgo with so much going on is work with kim cran's wild unknown archetype cards um i'm not gonna take these just yet um because first off i'm only getting one and I'm going to shuffle them. So we're going to get a self card, a places card, a tools card, and an initiations card to give us a good picture of where we're at for you right now, Virgo. Okay. And what to expect for, for um, May, what the theme will be, what you should be focusing in on, that sort of stuff. All right, I'm not going to turn it over because... Um, I don't want to get distracted with it until I get the rest of the cards. We're going for the places now, I believe, right? Making sure. Yeah, the places. So what places does Virgo, or what place, I should say, Virgo needs to pay attention to? Okay, then we have places. And now the tools what tool do you need to let go of what's been in play or what needs to come into play that's the question here virgo just waiting for the go ahead on which is the right one here you know it seems kind of obsessive but <laughs> it's just the way that it goes can't force it. Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Whew. And the initiations or theme that we're working with and need to pay attention to and understand the, the energy is for you at this time. That one. Okay. Let's see what we got, Virgo. All righty. Oh, well. For your self card, we have the mentor. You're an old soul with a lot of wisdom and healing and loving and inspiration to give the world. Well, no wonder I'm on fire over here. Uh, the second one uh, for your places is the cave. Oh, wow. This is interesting. 
This is really, really interesting. Next card. Same kind of colors, too. Look at what's going on here. You know what I mean? Like, we've got that, just that one little bit of fire and then just the black and the white there. And then the next one is the ring. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> We're getting quite a picture here, you guys. The ring. And last but not least, a gape with your initiation. A gape. Okay. Let's get to it without further ado. Virgo, let's get right to the mentor. Where is it? What number is it? I am so sorry. I don't know why I can't see it. Oh, it's right there. Gosh. Wow. 73. I have a hair stuck on my ring interesting um and i open up to the healer so fyi um oh wow there we go sheesh the teacher the sage the guru it is said that cosmic knowledge pours down on the world like a great illuminated waterfall this can be an overwhelming force the true teacher though is said to be able to hold this flow of wisdom at bay while the student sips from the focus stream the mentor archetype has a gift for reading the room for sensing the exact ingredient that will stimulate growth within the student whether pleasant or painful the mentor may appear aloof or available harsh or tender humorous or rigid their gift is to know what serves the soul ultimately the mentor is in service of the greater cosmic good and aids in the elevation of consciousness. Anytime the mentor forgets this humble link and mistakes themselves for, for the source of enlightenment, the archetype falls into shadow. So it's like when ego gets too big, like I know it all kind of thing, the mentor turns into a dick. Basically, uh, when light focus cleared, bright remains a student. Mm, definitely. When dark, self-serving, uh, envious of youth, righteous and rigid. Yeah, and you're also definitely an empath. I have a new series for empaths. Check that out. I have info and quiz in my first video and about empaths and narcissists. Information I'm sure you won't find anywhere else. So you're definitely an empath when it talks about reading the room, understanding energy, kind of being this way or that way. Virgo, you're very this way or that way. It's like it's this or it's that. And I think that that kind of lends itself to the issue here. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, see, I just saw 1818 two nines. Um, light worker, light worker codes. Um, I think that's part of the issue here is that typically you can assess this or that, like just through life. You know, you just have you've been easy, it's been not. It's been more easy, sheesh, I can talk, to make decisions um, for than what you kind of observe with other people. Like a lot of people, they're confused. They hum and they haw, this, that, and the other thing. They're not sure what to do. And you're just like this, this, this. Like you just have this understanding about yourself. And I don't think you've actually seen that as psychic, as telepathic, as connected to guides. But you're so connected that it feels very, it's so in you. Like fish don't know they're wet same thing with empaths and psychics and um and those that are like high level light workers and healers and all of that stuff and you're definitely these things and when it's when you get to a point of spiritual awakening and and that kind of stability is shaken because it's clear that there's more going on it can cause more friction and confusion in the beginning because your logical brain your sword logical brain is um 
Yeah, we just have wands and swords here. No water. So your logical brain is, you know, like relies on truth, fact, what you see, what you can handle, like what you can, you know, what's tangible. And for a lot of this stuff, it's not. It just isn't. Okay, it's not tangible. You have to just go with feel. Okay, page 127 for the cave. Let's get to the cave. Ah, there we go. Okay. The dark, the portal, the interior. Oh, I love this. Ah. Those who are fortunate enough to find and enter the cave are forever changed. It is a place of potent power, acting both as portal to another realm and a space for sacred ritual and initiation. The cave is a place to return for meaningful retreat where one can see the true self in the darkness. In esoteric teachings, the cave is known to reside in the center of the heart. Within its walls, the whispers of compassion and self-understanding can be heard. Yet, because of its mystery and power, many of us fear the cave and never try to find it. We busy ourselves with the bright lights of the city while the cavernous and dimly lit chambers call out to us in the night. Where is your cave? You already know, return to it and tend the fire. Oh, goodness. When light, the sacred center within, when dark, withdraw, isolation and hiding. Again, like I said, that running business, that's been like what's been going on. But it looks like you are ent you're going to be entering the cave. Like it's time. All of the, all the stars are in alignment the, the month is the right month. The sun is where it needs to be. Like the stars are where they need to be. The moon is doing what she needs to be doing. It's like click, 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 click. Alignment. And it's like you are finally, when I say finally, it's because it feels like such a long road to get here. There's been a lot of turmoil, a lot of drama, chaos within you and without you in your world that you've been a part of. And um, the cave is definitely calling out to you. Card number 20, uh, sorry, 32 here. Also a five, which represents change. And so we actually, so the first card is a six card. It's the, the mentor. And then we have the 32, which is a five. Interesting. Um, so the cave really is um, calling out to you, saying, please enter here now. And know that within that cave, there is that fire in that heart center. Uh, your soul reaching out to you to want to um, really get you. Like I said, it's a lot of heat, a lot of fire with these wands and this this wheel that literally is just putting off so much energy. I can't right now. Um, so yeah, the cave uh it's like i feel you you're coming up to a place at a time of choice like go within or retreat again and it this is really really telling you no it's time to go within it's time to stop running from the truth for of yourself this like you know if you've had this feeling like i'm different things happen around me that's odd i have these senses there's these you know whatever that it is for you it's like it's time to lean in instead of talking yourself out of the truth and the reality of who and what you are it's time to lean in to how different you are because you are okay now next is the ring for your tool which is perfect but i i i can talk about it but i want to um, read it to you. I'm really committed to reading directly from the book for these because it's just better, I feel like, than me trying to paraphrase. Okay, here we go. The infinite, the wheel, the connection. The ring is an image of connectedness. Oh my God, I'm getting so hot again. And there it is, the ring, the wheel, same thing. It's making me very, very hot. <laughs> well... The ring is an image of connectedness rather than viewing life as linear as a series of progressive achievements. The ring challenges us to sense the cyclical infinite nature of our world. 
and experiences. Beginning, beginnings and endings fall by the wayside as we practice seeing ourselves as part of the cosmic circulatory of creation. For this reason, there is no surprise a ring is worn on the finger to represent eternal love that surpasses space, time, and worldly things. So much can be projected onto this archetypal image because it mimics the earth's orbit around your great around our great sun and the intimate bond between two lovers it is the micro and the macro united this card calls us to deepen connection with self other and the world at large meanwhile there may be a literal ring waiting to adorn your finger and when light connectedness humility sacred cycles and when dark conscious uh unconscious repetition starving for connection so should we see there she's got in the book the infinity symbol and the ring um coming through there and are just representing the circle the ring the wheel um and as you can see here pretty sure um yeah she's got that weaving um that weaving energy going on so one thing to understand here is that what I'm picking up, aside from what I just read with this card, what I'm picking up here is this is, this is um, karmic. This is your soul destiny. This is who and what you are. And that is that infinite nature of the soul, that infinite nature of your uh, your um, your journey. And it's so freaking powerful and intense virgo that it's just like i mean here we go the mentor the cave the ring it's like go into the cave and understand the ring there you will find the clues you need to find to unlock the doors to your certainty <gasps> whoa i just picked that up whoa so this is like, but you have, it won't like what the way that it works with our guides and our guardians and our own soul, giving us information, like it's already there. We just have to access it. We have to tap in. We have to ask our gar guards and guide guardians, our archangels, our guardian angels, um, our ascended masters, our ancestors, our spirit animals, all of that to assist us, to come in, to give us the support, the um, nurturing. Again, Mother Gaia coming in going, I'm right here. Please um, stop avoiding and, con and contact. It's like literally contact me, connect with me, come into my cave, come into this safe space with me. Oh my God, this is making me really emotional. Woo, come into this safe space with me and I will hold you safe while you discover yourself. Holy moly. Okay. Wow. Um, this is intense. Woo. Um, definitely the most intense so far. <laughs> <laughs> these readings okay and um a gape is our initiation and theme devotion unconditional love what if instead of putting yourself at the center of your spiritual practice you put god goddess and nature at the center how would you change this approach such is the energy of a gape it is alive when we are in awe and wonder, our breath taken away by the sacred force that surrounds us and asks for nothing in return. This card can indicate a spiritual initiation that stretches your capacity to love and serve. You sense the earthly as the heavenly and vice versa. Such an initiatory moment can appear in any form and like a healing balm to the modern soul, it affects lasts a lifetime. The agape card may also suggest you reassess what you worship every day, consciously or unconsciously. What are you elevating? Where does the sacred ladder you climb ultimately lead to? Holy moly. 
Wow. Okay. When light, service, reverence, reverence, honor, and joy, and when dark, spiritual bypassing and righteousness. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> so intense with these messages. Holy moly. Um. So this ener this message of assess which what you put your energy energy into what um the agape card may also suggest you reassess what you worship every day and what that means is in this particular instance specifically is where is your focus where is your energy what are you putting your time energy and effort in what is that is it serving your greatest purpose is it serving unconditional love is it serving you getting to know and connecting with your soul and your guides and guardians that are all around you what like really like they're so so many of them like seriously it's that's also the reason for the heat because as i'm connecting to you virgo um it is like dense in here with so much spirit spirit energy just like chomping at the bit to connect with you to for you to connect with them and this is about unconditional love this is about your heart center this is about a spiritual initiation like i said you're going through this process you're just this is your process everybody's process is different so whatever whoever you are and all the whomevers that i'm speaking to here your process has been exactly the way it was supposed to be don't think like you messed anything up or things are behind schedule or anything like that it's not this has been your process you've had to go through the steps the challenges the chaos the drama the disappointments the the things not working out the seeing things ahead of time and seeing it come the way there's your hopes and there's like what is there and it's been like you're you are hopeful you are at the core you're realistic but you're optimistic and and your optimis optimism, your positivity for always just like, well, if that blew up, I'm, you know, continuing on. Um, you have this understanding that it just is what it is. And sure, you know, we can see things as like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done this. That was a mistake. I acted out. I was triggered. I got angry. I avoided. I this, I that. And all of those things are lessons. We shouldn't take them so deeply to heart that we're like seeing mistakes and regret. And it's all about that. We just learn from our process of, of life and go, you know what? I learned something about myself here and I learned something about this type of situation this type of person this type of of event and I'm gonna take those bits and I'm gonna move on however I was involved or others were involved it is what it is and it's time to um you know pack up your bag of like wisdom nuggets as I call them or knowledge bombs for yourself and move on without holding on to the negativity. I think that that's also part of what's going on here is that there's still energy stuck in disappointment, despair, longing, lost love, um, feeling like everything is so hard, a lot of loss, loved ones gone, this sort of thing. And it's just, you know, it's like heavy. But there's so, but it's like, yeah, you know what? Those of us who have like <laughs> these insane connections with spirit and, um, you know, abilities um, that are not typical, like healing, psychic, like the real deal, you know, the real deal ones of us are like, there's a lot there. And we typically have these journeys that are, <laughs> I just saw three, four, five, that we typically have journeys that um, aren't the smoothest. They are rough and the road is jagged and we're constantly swallowing jagged pills and learning from things because we have a short amount of time to get a lot of learning in. And so it's jammed, packed with all of this stuff that really is meant to 
you know, crinkle and crack us open in different ways so we can experience as well as much as possible. And now it's like now is the time to enter the cave to understand your place in this world um, as a leader, as a mentor, as somebody deeply spiritually connected. Um, it's just it's it. This fire is what I'm feeling this it's insane um so whoo <laughs> we're gonna get an oracle card let me tap in and see what deck we're going to be using for you virgo now i just saw three four five six wow definitely definitely progression sequential look up three four five six angel number i'm being guided to tell you okay i am so vibrating with energy from all of who is here for you and us to connect with that i'm going to use the pendulum because um yeah i just want to know these are three different decks from the same person lucy cavendish we've got the dragon fate oracle the fairy oracle and the hidden worlds oracle let's see what we're going to use so i just put my pendulum connect with the dragon fate oracle and ask if we're to use this deck if it's a yes we get a swing in the clockwise direction and it's just going back and forth. You see that? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Or if I can kind of sit this way and show you. It's not turning. It's just going back and forth. And you can see how still I'm holding it and how much it's moving. Um, oh, it's finally starting to go into the no pot, no direction. Oh, you see that? So there we go, going in the no. And if I sat here long enough with it, it would start to go really fast, but we don't need to do that. Um, so are we going to work with the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle? I'm feeling a no here. Okay, so that means, just for shiggles, let's take a look here. That means that we are working with the hidden worlds oracle. And we should see, I would imagine, a affirmative with a clockwise yep there it goes and again you can see how still I'm holding it I'm not moving it in any direction to get it to do this but it's doing it by itself it's going in the clockwork direction for your messages for the hidden world's oracle which really doesn't surprise me but all of these all of these um decks are super super magical and very very connected to spirit so let's get into it for your message virgo for from the hidden whoa hi where'd you come from <laughs> i'm curious to see what you are uh snail's pace we actually got this for i believe um taurus I was really oh no 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 we got that for the uh for the full moon for no we did get that for Taurus I'm getting confused sorry I'm getting confused we got we got different cards for the full moon which if you have not done that full moon um or not done that video the full moon and the meditation the channel guided astral meditation for the full moon I highly suggest you do it it was amazing soup whoa Okay. So we have two cards here, Virgo. Two very powerful cards. I guess this is going to be an extra long one. The Isle of Wonders. And the Temple of Dreams. Love it. Okay. Let's get right to it with card number four, the Isle of Wonders, and then we'll get into it with card number 36, the Temple of Dreams. So card number four. Okay, the Isle of Wonders, revelation, teaching, discovery. Some places are so precious that they must be completely protected. Such is this place, the Isle of Wonders, shrouded by the mist of the, wa of the waterfalls, guarded by the turbulence of the waters. It can only be reached through becoming light and flying there. 
What does this mean for you? That in order to learn what your soul craves to understand, you must become light enough to travel the, over the waters and into the Isle of Wonders itself. Kind of similar to the cave. When this card comes to you, know you are being guided to become light so your soul can travel to this place and explore the marvels of this space place it is a place of peace uh, and of great teaching and discovery soulful intellect and spirited intelligence there lies such a place deep within you and you can discover this place within for a while the isle of wonders continues to exist so to does the wonder within you it may be time to rise above and free yourself from what has held you back what you're running from and this can take place in subtle potent ways it is not a literal escape although adventure can always assist us this is more a freeing of yourself from all that is around you which convinces you that you can no longer learn that it is dangerous to discover that believing in marvels is the domain of fantasy it is not for this place exists to generate the belief in the marvelous the desire to learn and the repeated and peaceful liberation of the end unchained soul fly now friend and let yourself visit this most marvelous place and learn of all that is pure and true again oh my gosh this is so ridiculously on point <laughs> it is crazy uh illumination i have the freedom to learn and to discover my soul thrives on adventure virgo Yes, you're being called in so many ways to stop hiding, to go within, to connect with these beautiful, wonderful, magical places within you and the universe. Okay, the second card, card number 36, the Temple of Dreams. Sacred dreams, prophecies, dream journeys. There are holy places in the hidden worlds where dreams are created, libraries where dreams that are necessary to dream are stored. They are written in codes of light, woven into the energy field, then sent through portals and vortexes into the world of the humans and delivered to the, to the beings who are most open to receiving them. This we do with ideas, creations, and most often dreams. We create these dreams to inspire you, to offer you the very greatest moments of possibility, to send you memories of other lives, to share preludes of the lives to come, to convey the connections that are between all of us to all of you. Your dreaming life is another life, not simply a place where you go through where you go through your day or work to rehearse your life. This takes place, it is true, the sorting out of memories, but the dreams of the spirit will come to you, written by the scribes and the priestess and the gods and all the divine ones in these temples of dreams. You will now recognize that the dreams you felt were you will now recognize that the dreams that you felt were only dreams, as in not real enough to possibly hold the significance you thought they may contain are dear one very real hold real meanings and messages for you to take within these are sent to you they now belong to you and they contain codes energies messages truths that can open you up until you feel wisdom breathing through your every cell we will write the dreams your soul most needs we will continue to send them to you. And if you ask us, we will send you the dreams you most need. Illumination. Dreaming is my spirit study. The visions I receive are the texts of my soul taken from the libraries of the hidden worlds. Oh, yes. So there's a lot of guidance and messages coming to you in your astral dream state hopefully you're paying attention now more than ever and going into the future we have that moon there again that crescent moon um so we are uh in shift in in process from illuminate from um that waning to waxing um moon is what i'm seeing here 
we had that crescent moon in both i'm being shown look at so um this is a process that's taking place definitely through the month of may you may get a real boost of light code synchronicity um angel numbers and your dreams can be really really intense um you're being guided to avoid alcohol as much as possible because that messes with your dreams and keeps you low vibrational especially before you go to bed i'm hearing if anything um go to plant medicine go to um go to cannabis go to um excuse me mushrooms go to ayahuasca go to things like this if you feel that to help you connect to be in an altered state of connection um my evolve now program uh is like an ayahuasca trip in the sense that we meet with mother gaia and with your guides in a really really intimate one-on-one -on -one, um healing space so you can consider working with me please check out my my uh, my website, thehealingbutterfly.org for the different services that I can um, provide you to help you through this transitional process, through this in initiation, through this deep understanding for yourself, dear beautiful Virgo, because there is so much coming through to, um, to you. You're being asked to light, lighten yourself up, to be taken to, um, to the, the Isle of Wonders, to allow yourself to be in a suspended state of reality and to let what is really real come in you know it's not about like the reality is not just what we can see feel and touch it's about what we um what we are connected to energetically and as we allow ourselves to get light and float on that um information more will come in Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for joining me for this amazing reading for you. I am so excited for your, um, for your journey and um, just go forward with an open heart and an open mind and you'll be just fine. With uh, that being said, infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.